business, the show for very diverse entrepreneurs. I'm your host, June Middleton. We have a really interesting and exciting group here this evening. We've been working a long time to try to get them on the show, and I'm glad they're finally here. They are musical entrepreneurs who have played around the world, here in the U.S., uh, Colombia, I think they just came off a tour, the Czech Republic, and they are very diverse in the type of music that they play. They have played here in the Blue Note in New York City and also at major jazz festivals throughout the country and throughout the world. It is my pleasure to present to you the Asaf Kahati Trio. Come on over and join me, please. You can put your guitar down and so that you're not dragging the amp over. We don't want to do that. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. So nice, nice to, to have you. you here. Nice to be here. Oh, gee, finally, finally. 
yeah. Patricia mm -hmm. Tobin, our <laughs> talent coordinator, who's been working very hard to try to get us together, and I'm so glad it finally me happened. Me too, me too. It's great welcome, to be here. Welcome, welcome. So now, please, introduce the other two members of your group. Of course. So it's a pleasure to play with uh, Ronen Itzik on drums and uh, Ehud Atun on bass. That's my trio. Oh, that's terrific. And of course... Asaf Kehati, again, <laughs> nice to be here. <laughs> okay, well, let's, let's, I want to talk to all of you, but let's start mm -hmm. with you. Um, tell me, what, um, where did you first start with your music? I mean, um, you, this is not your home. Where's home for you? Uh, I would say, I would say it's home here, but uh, uh, it's, been I, here I have, that I long have now? yeah, I mean, yeah, I have, I have two homes, so it's equally. Uh, origi I'm originally from Israel, so mm -hmm. I grew up in Israel and uh, I spent there also a big part after growing up also as a grown-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> um, so what I was your start like in music? Um, I, st I started basically with, with keyboard or piano as a, as a child, about 10 years old. Um, I played keyboard again for one year and then um, I stopped and after a few months I think I, I wanted to to do guitar, so. Hmm. And it's interesting because usually it's a, uh, the drummer or the bass that starts with the piano and then. Yeah, actually, it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a lot of people start. Now, did you study in Israel or um, yeah, did I studied, you do much I studied, studying here? Yeah, I, I studied in Israel, um, um, you know, in, in a few local music schools as a kid and then privately also as a kid. Uh, and I went to, um, I studied music in my high school also. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and later I studied at a school called Rimon. It's um, it's it's like higher education, just like a bachelor degree in mm, music. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I did also business degree in Israel. <gasps> That's terrific. <laughs> so, surprise. Yeah. So you went into music, and so, but you can manage, I did, I did both. You can manage your musical business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did, I did both, and and only then I came I came to the U.S. and I studied. Uh, at the New England Conservatory, I did my master's in, in music again, so. Oh, gee. Musicians are so educated these <laughs> days. It's, it's really quite a change, and it's terrific. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really is. Now, you do a lot of composing and arranging. Mm -hmm. now, the piece that you j just played, Long Ago and Far Away, mm -hmm. that's a Jerome Kern piece. Exactly. But you did the arrangement. It's very interesting, oh. uh, the, the stops. Mm -hmm. yeah. that, uh, very, very interesting. Mm -hmm. So um, do you do a lot of uh, arranging and composing? Is that one of your favorite things to do? Yeah, I mean, I mean yeah, I, I like playing standards as they are, like just, you know, playing without having anything uh, in particular or in advance, anything. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times I, I sit down, especially when, when I know I want to do a certain piece at, at, at a show or, or start doing it in my shows. So, so a lot of times it's, I just sit with the piece at home and, and play it. I mean, I, it's stuff I already know, so it's not the first time, but mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, let, let, let's do it. Maybe I should bring it next week to the, this show or something like that because I like it. And, then, then while playing it, I'm like, oh, okay, I hear a few things. I could do this, this, and just tweak it a little bit and make it, um, I wouldn't say more interesting because, because those pieces are amazing mm -hmm. and interesting, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. something that the band can, can grab on, like a special here and there, that they have to be on their toes a little bit, and mm -hmm. you know, we have some, some kind of conversation around that. So. Ah, okay, I mean, do you also suddenly wake up in the middle of the night saying, oh, that could no. work. No, I, s I sleep too well. Like, <laughs> it doesn't doesn't work like that. That's I might the first wake up time I've heard that. <laughs> <laughs> so, but how long have you been here now in the U.S.? Seven so, years. Seven, seven years. Yeah, so when nice did you you you've been back to Israel lately, haven't you? Or? Uh, yeah, I usually go twice a year. Uh, Sometimes mm -hmm. again, my family. Uh, they are there, um, and a lot of my friends, and, and have, you know, a lot of people. Um, so I usually go twice a year. Um, every time I go, I, I also play shows, so it's kind of business and pleasure. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, if I already play in, in Europe, like now you, you mentioned, we yeah we came back from a tour of the Czech Republic. Mm -hmm. So because it's not uh, too far, so I went first to Israel, then did Czech Republic, and then back to Israel, and then back oh to the U.S. Oh my gosh, you do a lot of uh, traveling. You must have a lot of frequent flyer miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm well, working that, on that, that is terrific, and I, I really am looking forward now to, to talking to. Um, Ehud, if uh, you, you're playing, I have to tell you, 
one of my favorite instruments. I think before we started in our uh, modified green room, I was talking to you about my brother being a bass player. So <laughs> I, I'm always partial to the bass players. I mean, I like the guitar too. But <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, um, did you start out playing the bass? No, I started out playing guitar, actually. Or like <laughs> piano and guitar, yeah. Um, and I went into this, uh, I, I was auditioned to a music school, like high school in Israel, and they basically accepted me. I got in on the basis of, my, of, of ear, like musical ear, not even on the instrument, but they told me that I have to pick a different instrument. Cause now, you did most of your studying, though, uh, were in Israel. Yeah, I mean, I did my bachelor degrees in Israel, in Jerusalem, and my master's in Boston. Now, you refer to yourself, though, as a double bass player. Now, that's usually classical, uh, the way that classical uh, bass players refer to the instrument that they play. Right. Were you classically trained? Yeah. I'm, ah. I'm coming from classical bass and... Uh, I can tell. It comes through. <laughs> it comes <laughs> through. So, when I'm did you gravitate... To to jazz? I think that the improvisation is such a huge part of music for me. And that's really like... You can't improvise much with Bach or Beethoven, can you? You can try, <laughs> but it's more fun with Long Ago and Far Away. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, so, uh -huh. yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you uh, did you come from a musical family? Not, I mean, not really. None of my family is professional musicians. Hmm. Yeah. But you just had you were drawn to it? Yeah, as a kid I was drawn to, drawn to it a lot. Like the, the result of singing in my family and you know, my great grandmother came from uh, her, her family in uh, Poland. They were too religious to let her uh, sing. Mm -hmm. So she, she left the house. Ah. Um, so she always said like, how come we don't have any musicians in the family? So I guess That's it was really kind of expected, but yeah. Well, tell us about, you did the uh, jazz festival in Tel Aviv. I, I guess you all did that. Um, what, what is jazz like in Tel Aviv? I mean, is it very popular or is it? Well, th there, is a, there is a big scene of jazz in, in Israel and a lot of it is happening here in New York. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so, so when you go back to Israel, there is a lot of, of music happening by Israelis who are back home. Uh -huh. um, but I think there is, there is a lot to be said about like what it's like to create music, to create jazz in a place that's far enough from New York, but has a lot of influence. Ah, I'm sure, I'm sure. Well, this is really interesting. Well, what, Ronan, I'd like very much to talk, if you could just give him the, that mic. And <laughs> it's very nice to have you here. Well, um, thanks for I having I love us. the drums, too. My brother started out as a drummer. Glad to he hear went it. to the bass. <laughs> and he plays guitar as well. <laughs> <laughs> so did you start out playing another instrument or? Um, sure, I did. Uh, I started with the uh, keyboards or, or keys oh, or the piano uh -huh. when I was six. And then I had a nice stop until age 13, 14, where I actually started playing drums. But I actually chose bass first. And um, my brother happened to buy drum set. And I, I realized I'm going to be a drummer because ah. of that. So. And your parents were tolerant of you playing the drums in the house? <laughs> they were <laughs> amazingly to tolerant, oh. yeah. And the neighbors, I must uh, thank yeah, all right. of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you do most of your studying in Israel, or did you do any here? Um, I did, I, I would say, a lot in Israel and a lot here as well. I uh, graduated um, two degrees in the US, one in Boston, one in Florida. Oh. Um, but of course, before I came here, I studied with um, Higher, higher education at Ramon School and um, and a lot of uh, private private teachers. So mm -hmm. now you're a composer uh, as well. Correct. Is that something that you really enjoy doing? Do you I, get a chance much to compose? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I compose. I, I like playing my tunes because it has a special signature of, of myself, <laughs> and <laughs> um, and I like to see what people do with with my music. Of course, yeah. Has your music been recorded by other uh, musicians? Absolutely. Because you do a lot of recording uh, and yeah. have done a lot of recording with jazz musicians. Yeah, I haven't have. you? Mm -hmm. um, I'm in in different projects and different recordings, um, and some of them are with my music. Uh, 
as a part of a collaboration or or, or leading the the project and um, just recently I recorded one of my my tunes that is gonna um, gonna be released and yeah it's always it's always interesting to be on that side as well as Oh, I'm sure it is. Well, it's so it's so interesting talking to you, and I'm so glad that we had a chance to chat. But we'd like to hear some more music. Okay. So how about uh, just go uh, right over there, and if you will, we'll and do. you'll play another piece for us. Mm -hmm. So is it going to be the horses fight? Uh huh. You're correct. It's going to be the Wonderful. horses fight. Wonderful. Wonderful. Well, I am really delighted to again present to you the Asaf Kahati Trio. <laughs>
I love the endings that you have. They are so creative. I'll tell you what, we don't have that much time, so you can stay right there, but I would like to know, you have another album coming out soon? Yes. Uh -huh. And um, when is it going to be this year? Yeah, it's going to be this year. Actually, The Horses Fight is, is a song from that album. How did you come up with that name? <laughs> I mean, you were influenced, I know, by your experiences and the places that you've been. And Did you see horses fighting? No, actually, it's a, I, started, I started writing this tune, um, just the melody and the whole, the whole song kind of came to me in a way. I, I was just playing the guitar and then like, oh, okay, something's happening, it's a song. You know, okay, let, let's go with it. And then while I, I, I was writing it, I'm like, okay. I mean, it was obvious, okay, this is a horse's fight. It sounds like, like you know, some, something about the groove just reminded me a scene. And I started thinking about it, uh, two horses that are running. And then oh. at some point, there's two cameras, and I'll make it short. Um, uh, the cameras go slow motion, kind of the whole image is slow motion, then they come back to the race, yeah. you know, normal speed, and it, it's back and forth, so that, oh, that's well, part, is, part of what so, I was it's thinking so creative, about. creative, and, and I know that uh, you have, I hear, other uh, folk music mm -hmm, as yeah. an influence in the music that you're playing, yeah. mm -hmm. and which, is, which also makes it very, a little Brazilian, and... Um, yeah, I, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know I even can, myself, some people say, Brazil and say, okay, some people say yeah. Middle Eastern, some people say, you know, different styles. Well, we so. want to hear and have, I want to leave time for you to play one more piece. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you so much mm -hmm. for being our guest this evening. Thank and you, you so much. And you have a great trio. You guys really are very talented and very good. It's been a pleasure to sit here and listen to you. And I also want to say thank you to our crew and to a wonderful young man in the control room, Julius, who's also going to do his own show soon. And I want to thank you, uh, Ed, our director, and our caterer, and also my son, who does a great job for us for every show that we do. And also Patty Tobin, who is the talent coordinator and really introduced us. And I'm just very happy and thankful to Patty for doing this. And of course, a very, very special thanks to Rich and Manhattan Neighborhood Network for making this show possible. You've been watching Minding Your Business, the show for really terrific and talented entrepreneurs. See yourself where you want to be. Okay, just a short note and just if I can. Join us again next time for another <laughs> program. So in the time that we have left, why don't you close the show with with a piece called Naked, that's the name of the new album, and I want to also invite everybody to check out the website, because... Um, All right, we'll have that up on the screen, but let's not run out of time. Okay, so okay. So if you can just go right ahead and no hit problem. it. No problem.